Hi, this is Bill Griggs from cncroutertips.com. Uh, recently, I got a question from one of our uh, users of our Facebook group about how to make letters like you see on the screen right now. This is a, um, a script letter with rounded edges, and it's almost prismatic. This letter can be made easily in either vCarve Pro or in Aspire from Vectric Software. So let's get started. Okay, I opened up an instance of Vectric Aspire, and you could just as easily do this in vCarve Pro. This is a 4.5, so there's nothing special about it. Um, you could do it in the new version 8, but uh, this one is 4.5. So I'd start with a new job, and I'd set up my uh, piece of uh, material at 12 inches by 12 inches and 3 quarter inches thick. I'm setting my XY datum down in the bottom corner and I'm choosing inches as my unit of measure. And if I'm satisfied with all of that, I can just hit OK and proceed. Now, the font that we used for this script uh, is the monotype Corsiva font. And we just type the letter F into it and we specified a size. In this case, we're going to um, take a, a specific size of 10 inches. Um, I've already done one um, that is slightly smaller than that, and so I'm going to use that. But if I wanted to um, proceed, I just select the font I want from the list and enter a font height for it and then hit apply. That would create the font. As you can see, this large 10 inch one that appeared. Um, we're not going to use that. Like I said, we're going to use the smaller one that's showing on the screen right now. So I'd close that. I would grab that font and I would use the alignment tools to center it inside of the material by clicking this icon right here. And that's what it is. Alright, I'm going to delete that and just go ahead and use the smaller one that I've already got set up. So I'd close that, but I just wanted to see how that was set up. So in order to proceed with this, I'd select the font by clicking it once and that turns it red. Now I can do a variety of things to this font to make it cut better. One of those things would be to come up to um, edit and hit curve fit vectors and I want to select circular arcs and preview. And as you can see, it's going to take that um, uh, particular letter and it's going to distribute the parts in such a way that um, it makes it uh, easy for the, the cutter to cut. If I cancel out of that and just select the node edit mode on this font, you can see that um, Um, I can't edit it because it's text, but that's what what um, those fonts would look like. Uh, and it's not quite as smooth a presentation as you would get if you curve fit the font. So we're going to go back, select it, hit curve fit vectors, preview it, then hit OK. Now the tool I'm going to use and the method to do this is a profile tool bit. Um, and we're going to profile outside the letter and we're going to select a plunge round over bit. In this case I've got a um, 0.375 of an inch round over bit and it has a point on it. And that's why it's a plunge bit because you can go and just plunge right into the uh, the um, the cut. Um, my uh, depth of pass is um, 0 0.0469. Step over is 0.1125 or about 30 percent. 12,000 RPM and a feed rate of 100 inches per minute and a plunge rate of 30. And um, we're going to set that to tool number one, and I'm going to hit apply. Then hit OK. Now, 
here's the secret. We know that this bit is um, we know that this bit is three eighths inches wide. I'm going to pin this so it stays open um, by hitting this little thumbtack pin. Okay, we know the bit is three eighths inches wide. So if we offset the bit here where it has the allowance offset, a negative 0.1875, which is half the distance of that bit, inward, it will leave rounded edges that are kind of highlighted and intersect represented by this blue line. Also, if we only go half as deep as the diameter of the bit, the 0.375, maybe just a hair more because I went um, 0.1876, just a little deeper. And you can experiment with that depth. If you go too deep, you'll get a ridge. If you don't go deep enough, you won't get it very round. So I set it at about half, and then I calculated it. Um, sorry, first I have to select the vector, and then calculate that toolpath. And you can see it gives us a preview of what it's going to cut out. Now, I'm going to preview that toolpath. And you can see, if we zoom in, that it gives you a nice, rounded, semi-prismatic shape. And we're almost done with that, but we also need to create a second toolpath, which will cut it out. Now, in this case, I'm going to hit the Page Up key to open up both um, let's try that again okay now I've got both of the uh, windows showing by using the page up um, command and um, what I'm going to do is create a profile a profile toolpath around the outside of this letter and I'm going to use an eighth inch bit. So I'd select an eighth inch bit. I'm going to go three quarter inches deep. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of passes to do that. But I'm going to do the outside, and that will allow me to get into tight into the uh, corners of this letter. So I hit calculate after I select a vector. Doing it again, and then preview that. Okay, and that cuts it out. If I double click on the material, it takes the material away, and we can see what we're left with, which is a um, pretty good, decent representation of what it was we were looking at originally, which is that um, letter. Okay, so to recap, what we did was we took a plunge round over bit and we offset it by half the diameter or inward in a negative direction and then proceeded with the cutout. And then we did a profile cut with a straight bit around the outside and that gives us the prismatic letters. Here's just another quick view at the settings that we used. Um, for this cut, we only went half half as deep as the diameter, and we offset by half the diameter um, to the outside, and we used the plunge round over bit, and that gave us the results you, we were hoping for. If you found this video helpful, please um, leave a comment below or like us on um, our Facebook page. Or you can check out our website at cncroutertips.com. Thank you.